Okay, fellas, so we're going to go over everything I did to um, install the, uh, the adjustable steering column from the 720 onto the D21. So we're going to take all this apart. I'll try to keep this in frame. I'll do this with one hand. This clip, you have to press in and out. Okay, one down. So it just slides out. The horn, even though it doesn't actually work with this uh, Grant steering wheel, to get to. There we go. Okay. And then we got. Well, we got those, so we'll take this hub out. Hopefully, I'll be able to reach. See, this she just popped out. It was just a matter of. Hopefully, you can see this end, the tip of the, uh, the flat of the flathead. Is slide it in there and apply just the shade of pressure, and she pops out because of the spring. It's not actually hard to get this song thing out, but since I'm using one hand, it's making it tougher. But it's really actually not that hard since this is relatively new. I'll try and keep that in frame. I don't know how well that'll work. It's kind of tough to. There we go. Set that aside. And to take this bracket off, we gotta loosen this screw. It relieves the tension. And see it slides out just like that. We want as little things on the column itself while we're, you know, gonna pull it out. So that's the last things in the way. Aside from showing you guys how to do this, how to take all this off, 
the other reason I want to do it is because I want to paint um, the, the areas that were welded as well as the areas that were cut from the um, from the steering column. We gotta take this cover out. And unfortunately, since this, uh, this is for the radio. That provides power to the radio. Since it's hooked up up here, I gotta unplug that. Sorry, I'm totally out of out of frame. And unwrap it so it doesn't get in the way. Keep them out of the way. That way we have a better view. Okay. So here's a bolt. Hopefully you guys can see that. Let's see if this bump stop right here. The gas pedal. First things first, get these nuts out, because there's another set of nuts behind this uh, heat shield. And you want to be careful not to drop these behind uh, of the floor mat, because it would be a pain to try to reach them, repair, or retrieve them. You don't want to lose those because you're going to need them, or we are going to need them. Okay. Now, up here, hopefully you can see this, this little... sure what this is called it's kind of like uh, it, it just holds the the, the shield in place because this is uh, flexible this top end is flexible and if you see down here it's already it's already loose so you should be able to just pull this out be careful not to get any of your wires loose. We'll set this aside because we'll need it. Okay. Now I'm behind is the firewall shield that's connected to the column and obviously the firewall so we got this bolt or not i'm sorry this nut this nut and on either side are two should be two more nuts uh, one here and one over here somewhere
get all the nuts out. They're down here. But before we loosen up with these two bolts on either side to the bracket that's holding the column to the frame or underneath the hood, I'm going to take this nut that's holding the 720 uh, column to the rest of the uh, steering shaft, I guess, whatever you call it, that hooks, is hooked up directly to the uh, power steering. And then we'll be able to go inside and take everything else out. See, there's a column. Okay, so hopefully you guys can see. This is the uh, 720 column, and this is the uh, D21. Hopefully, I have these relatively. Damn near the the right angle. Okay, uh, again, uh, 720 column and D21 column. And if you come over here, this is where the 720 ends. But if you see how much longer, because of this uh, swivel slash elbow contraption over here. You can see how much longer the, the D21 is, the column for the D21. It's, I don't know, two, two and a half inches or so longer. Um, and if you look over here, this is where the, this, is, this bracket here, this bracket was here. This is where it went. And this whole section here that's cut off is where the D20, uh, I'm sorry, the 720 had its bracket at. So, even if I had been able to install uh, this on the, on the D21, this, these, this bracket is so much further back that I would have had to, have, uh, for it to mate to the, the its counterpart on the D21 this would have been so far forward that it would have made it pointless to even try to install it because we were that's one of the things we were trying to avoid this this one was already too far forward towards the driver towards you as a driver that uh it wasn't the greatest um uh, you know the steering wheel is just too close and if you had someone that was tall or or fat it would be even worse for them and if we did uh, move uh, 
the, the 720 column to to mate with the D21, that would put this end even further, which would be even worse. It wouldn't even mate. This part wouldn't even mate with this uh, part of the shaft at all. Um, if I had to do it over, what I would have done, um, I mean, again, this is my first time doing this. It was, it really was a learning experience, but if I had to do it over, I wouldn't have chopped off the bracket from this one, which is this one. I would have left that on there. That way this could still be used if needed. And I would have gone to Lowe's or uh, Home Depot and got a similar gauge metal and just copied this bracket. Um, use it as a template and, and copy it onto the new uh, new uh, plate, cut it, did whatever mods had to be done to it, and then weld that to this, and that would have been the end of it. Um, now, part of the reason that I had to chop the bracket off uh, off of this one is because uh, where it sat. Once I had everything lined up and this welded on. The stock bracket that was normally here where I chopped it off, it sat right uh, where the AC um, uh, tunneling is at. And it was keeping the column itself from from setting up as high as it would. And, and uh, it was making it where you, would, you would, weren't able to bolt, to use the stock bolts to bolt the, the bracket onto its spot. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. Here's the uh, the tunnel for the, for the AC. I'm assuming that's what this is. That's what it seems like it is. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. But yeah, the um, the brackets on the 720 were hitting this. And, and it was, again, it wasn't letting us rise uh, the, the steering column all uh, as far as it would go to bolt on and sit flush with that um the other thing i had to do um this is the shield that went with the 720 but if you look i currently have the shield from uh, the D21. I uh, managed to take these off. I thought it wasn't going to be impossible at first. I thought they were welded, but I just had to tap these out. And these actually just slide in. But before you can take, before you can take um, the shields out, you have to remove at least on, on the D21 because it's so long. It's really one long shaft. Um, you can see this washer and pin. And you have to use this type of tool to take this pin from, I'm sorry, I'm all over the place, but you have to use that tool to take this pin from this spot. And it's what's uh, keeping it uh, locked in place from sliding out or anything like that. But once you do that, how do I can get this in frame? You can slide the inner part of the steering column out. This is the part that, that spins. This part stays stationary. It doesn't do any. It, you know, it's just a. Uh, it's just it's just a bracket column, I guess is what you would call it. I'm just taking a guess here, but. It doesn't actually move. This is what actually spins and does all the work. But once you're able to take that out, then you're able to um, remove the, the shield from, from its respective column. Again, this one is, for, is from the 720. If you look at it, it's a completely different design and bolt pattern. Uh, this would never, never mate with this with the uh, firewall on the on the D21. So thankfully, 
again, all I had to do was tap them out. These, I had to use um, a flathead and wedge them in there while they were still, while this shield was still onto this column. I used, uh, just imagine this is a flathead. I had to use it to open these up a little bit and just slide and tap, slide and tap this uh, shield out, out from, um, from the column. And it was the same thing for this one. Uh, all the only difference was obviously you can, you can see the, the the length the difference in length so this one took a little a little bit longer to, to tap out and I installed it on there and even though let's see if you can see this one is considerably the diameter is a lot larger and I was thinking of using um, that weather weather stripping that, that I got that I used for the um, the AC on the on the D21. I was thinking of putting a layer in there just to keep this from shaking. But after bolting everything up together, nice and secure, there's no rattling. It's all nice and you know secure. Um, but again, uh, the other reason, I, uh, like I said, the other other reason I wanted to take this apart. I want to clean this a little bit and paint these uh, where what I had to cut out. It's not the neatest or greatest cut. I still got to do a little bit of filing just to smooth it out a little bit and and paint the welds. Uh, again, I don't know Jack about welding. My um, nephew did that for me, and this sucker's. Uh, he said it himself. He's he's not what you would call a, a a welder, but he has been learning a little bit, and you know he's his his uh, almost non-existent skill is a lot better than my non-existent skill. Um, but he did a good job. Good enough for me. It's good enough for me. Uh, it's it's. I've been driving uh, since I installed this, and, and man, it feels great. And this whole setup just feels good. So, I'm going to get off here for a little bit. I'm going to um, clean this up with the wire brush and the, the file. Um, hit this with the brush again. Clean it all up. Clean up those welds and uh, spray them. Just so, you know, they're protected. The metal doesn't start to rust or anything like that. So, I'll be, bu I'll be back once I get that done. And then I'll show you guys... And essentially, it's the same process, but in reverse to install it back into the D21. So I'll be right back. All right, so I hit hit the uh, exposed metal with the uh, several layers of uh, that rust enamel, and then a couple of coats of the um, clear coat. Not the greatest, but it doesn't really need to be because you're not actually going to see it. You know, it's going to be underneath the dash and all that. So let's let's get this sucker back installed. All right, so I'll get this angle. Angle this sucker. It's actually pretty easy, especially without the steering column. I mean, the steering wheel and all that. In the way. You guys can see this top end of the shaft is uh, flat and it has yeah it's just flat well you want the um, steering column and in the exact same position that it is but uh, made it in into this so I'll start doing that
Mm, just suck it. As snug as possible. Last thing you want is this coming loose. Especially when you're driving. <laughs> I'm you. I think you guys can Shipped gauge cluster wires. Yeah, that way they're not exposed or accidentally stepped on or pulled.
I was recording the process. Porque no lo hice la otra vez. Oh, okay. Estaba entrando, ¿cómo se dice? Mucho rapidez. Yeah. Put the right way. Yeah. Nomás para hacerlo. That weld held great and. Yeah. Hell yeah. It worked good. Hell yeah. All right. It's nice and tight. Solid. Yeah, yeah solid. Yeah. All right. Thank you. That's good to know. Yeah, like I say, I'm, you know, every time. Mm -hmm. Every practice. Mm -hmm. That definitely helped. That was my nephew, guys. He he welded the that uh, the bracket from the D D twenty one column onto onto this column. if you don't know I am Mexican and that was me speaking Spanish like a totally 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 white person you guys sound like Dan Newland speaking speaking Spanish yeah, should be good I just didn't want to mess with the hoping the wires don't get all loose. Okay. And and I didn't mention it that much before, but ultimately this column does again, because it's shorter, it does sit far further towards the towards the dash than than to us as a driver the the stock one the the d21 column is probably about right here But that's okay that it's sitting uh, as far forward as it is because it gives us more more leg room. I don't <laughs> I just banged the head. Test fitting where everything is going to be at. I want to make sure the the switches are not too close to the steering wheel, but at the same time, just you know, not too far towards the dash or, or too close to the steering wheel. Because if, if they're too close, you'll, you'll bump them. As you can see, I'm already bumping them. So we want them. Just. Out there is good.
It's a shame I can't use the, the 720 uh, stay palm cover. That'd be awesome if I could use it. Here's the camera. Kind of strict as far as these two go. But yeah, that's pretty good. Now I'm going to nut. That nuts also, if you want it in a really nice and tight, you don't want that sucker to come loose. Alright, before I do anything else, I'm going to start her up. Closer. The entire mechanism, including the steering wheel, is considerably closer to the dash, which I am okay with it because I have so much more room now. Good visibility. Just gotta add the um, little hex bolt bolts that go here. Put this uh, cover down there, and that's all she wrote. Um, like I said earlier, if, if I had to do it over again, I've never done this before. It is a learning, a really good learning experience on what not to do and what to do. And the the main thing for me is the the bracket that bolts the steering column to uh, the, the the frame of the uh, of the dash this bracket right here uh, like i said if if i had to do it over again i would have gotten um, a plate of metal similar grade as this i don't think you can see me pointing at it and just uh traced it out from the original column Cut it, cut it out, and made the holes, whatever bolt holes are needed, and welded that to this uh, 720 column, and just called it a day. That would have been so much simpler. Uh, instead of what I did, which was hack, hack uh, the D21 column. But hey, like I said, it, it was a learning experience. Um, if you guys end up having to do the same thing, 
uh, don't uh, you don't have you don't have to go through everything I did as far as uh, the cutting and chopping. It, it's so much easier to just uh, uh, go out and get a a, sh a sheet of a plate or sheet of metal that that's similar grade as what you're using already, and just and just make it yourself. And then and, uh, I mean, luckily, like you heard my nephew a little while ago. Uh, he welded that for me and did a pretty good job as far as I'm concerned. It's really solid. It, it's not going anywhere. And now that it's painted and clear-coated, it, it, I don't have to worry about it um, rusting or anything like that. Uh, but again, anyway, I just wanted to sh share this part with you guys. Um, that way you don't, at least, don't make uh, whatever mistakes I made. And it's a lot easier for you guys. And uh, yeah, it's it's definitely doable. A little bit of fab work, that's that's for sure, and swapping of uh, little minor pieces, uh, but it's definitely doable. So that's pretty cool. But anyway, again, uh, just wanted to show you guys this how-to, and uh, I will see you.